Hello and good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gregson and welcome to Shifting Lanes. Today I'm standing in my garage in front of my Project Volvo V70R and it hasn't been running for weeks and weeks. But today I am bound and determined to get this thing running or die trying. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And at the end of the video, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Uh, if you don't know who we are, we are a full service automotive journal and YouTube channel. Check us out on Drive Tribe. If you go to Drive Tribe and search Shifting Lanes, you can follow us there. We write about the daily news and any opinions that we have. Uh, if you like YouTube, we make a ton of videos about press cars. We do press drives and reviews. We have three project cars, including this Volvo V70R, a Subaru BRZ, and a Lexus IS300, as well as my Aston Martin V8 Vantage. We also do lifestyle events and press drives. So if you like any of those things, then definitely consider subscribing at the end of this video. This car, however, is my Project Volvo V70R. It's a 2005. I picked it up around six months ago, so an update video will be coming about that soon. Uh, but this car hasn't been running recently, and it kind of sounded like crap. So this is what it sounded like before it stopped running. This is what it sounds like now. Yeah, not ideal. So here is what we're gonna do today. Uh, last time, if you watched the last video, and I will put it up here in the card, if you watched the last video, um, I snapped a Torx bolt to get the charge pipe off this engine to be able to do a coil, uh, ignition coil and spark plug maintenance fix essentially to this car to see if that was the problem. Uh, unfortunately, I snapped a Torx bit into one of the bolts and I haven't had a chance to really do anything about it, but, now, uh, with my trusty Dremel and I have the correct cutting tool, I'm going to make an incision into the bolt and basically make it like a flathead screw and take it out that way, move the charge pipe a little bit, and then get the access to the coils and the sparks. So let's do that now, uh, first with cutting, and then we will take everything off and get inside the engine and see if that is the true cause of this thing not running. Here's a little zoom of what happened last time. Uh, it's not showing up great, but you can see right here the Torx bit basically cracked right in half. This thing is totally flat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little line here and then try to take it off that way. So let's do that first. <laughs> guys this was my last resort I basically took off the pipe here and I came in through the side like this with a Dremel well, I'll show you I came in over here with the Dremel cut another notch and this breaker bar is my last resort so if this doesn't work I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do <laughs> yes oh it worked Oh, that's awesome. Wow, it came off like nothing. That's great. I sprayed this with PV Blaster, so this must have loosened it up a little bit. And cutting that second notch must have really done the trick with the Dremel. So here, I'll bring the screw in a little bit closer and uh, let it focus. So I had to cut two notches here, this one here being the one that actually worked, this one being the one that stripped a little bit. but. It totally works, that is awesome. Let's get everything off like we should have done weeks ago. All right, so here we were a couple weeks ago, where we should have been. Uh, we have each coil pack right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unclip these harnesses, take the coil out, 
Uh, and then we're going to take the spark out and we're going to compare the coils and the sparks for new and old and that should do it. Then we just put everything back together and we're good. I also did take the charge pipe completely off from here and back here because um, basically what happens is because it's metal, it's not really that malleable. And when you undo this bolt and this bolt, uh, the pipe barely moves to be able to access this Torx screw. It's a T30 uh, for the engine covers, which are right here. Um, so what you have to do is you have to take the metal charge pipe completely off. If you have an aftermarket uh, set, which should be silicon or another high grade material that's a little bit more malleable, you can actually just move that to the side and then that bolt should, or that torque screw should just come right out. So what we're going to do now is basically take these all out and let's see if that's the problem and we'll compare new and old. Here we go. We've done cylinder one. We've undone the harness. We have the coil, the old spark, the new spark and the new coil. This old coil, by my eyes, I mean, first time doing this, to be honest with you, nothing looks too out of the ordinary. It's just very dirty. Um, in there, you can see there's not a ton of craziness going on, not a lot of corrosion, not a lot of anything. This is a, the genuine Volvo part. It has Volvo right on there, made in Slovenia. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I said that. I don't have no idea how Slovenians speak, so I apologize if I just offended everybody in Slovenia. Um, this looks to be in uh, pretty good shape, to be honest with you. So let's take a look at the new one, just by comparison. It doesn't really look all that much different, a little cleaner, has a little bit of white residue from manufacturing, and again, made in Slovenia. So that looks to be pretty good. I believe the spark is where the issue is because this is the old one. You can see it is utterly filthy. Uh, this is not how a spark plug should look. Um, the top should be clean, the, uh, the, the gap is not really bad, it's not very wide, but the, where the uh, spark is actually happening looks like it can't even like have a charge at all. So, uh, no, no spark, it, it seems like there should be no spark. Look at how clean this is! And the gap is a little smaller, it looks brand new, because it is, so my guess is that spark is the issue for this thing not basically staying on. Um, when I did turn to position two on the ignition, uh, I heard fuel pump going. So I don't think it's a fueling issue. Uh, we'll see, but we will get all of these in. I'm basically just gonna do this all off camera because most of you are Volvo aficionados that are watching this and know how to do this. If you don't, basically you just take off all of these 10 mil bolts uh, for each coil, you unclip these harnesses and you take off the coil and then you use basically an extender to go down in there and grab the spark. Now the spark just goes right back in, coil goes on top and then you tighten everything back up and you should be good to go. So I'm going to put all this back together, uh, including the charge pipe cross brace and everything and that stupid, stupid Torx bolt. And I'm gonna start this up and see if it works. So fingers crossed, let's see what happens. guys everything's back together I am utterly exhausted moment of truth let's see if it worked Dying. All right, that's good. That's a result. Oh my God, it's running. I can't believe it's running. <laughs> no blank. <laughs> no kidding. Wow. 
Okay, that was it. I guess it was either a coil or a spark that was doing it. We replaced them all and that seems to have done it. I'm gonna let this idle for a little bit and then we'll sign off from there. We have no messages, so no misfire codes. We have no, no check engine light. All right, this looks like a win. It did die again uh, off camera. I, I stopped it and started it a, co a couple of times. It did die again, but um, it is starting better. I think that there just might be uh, some stuff in the system that needs to clear out. So I'm gonna let it idle for two or three minutes and then uh, turn it off and hope for the best for the next time I drive it. Okay, so believe that fixed it. I'm really stoked. Uh, I'm gonna take this for a drive and, and see if this is the actual fix. Hopefully there's no other issues um, that come up while I'm driving or you know it doesn't start so um, basically if you get a new car do the sparks and the coils immediately because I think that would have made this thing run a lot a whole lot better um, it seems to be idling better there was a bit of a uh, idling you know not misfire but it didn't seem to be idling perfectly smooth it definitely seems like it's idling a lot more smoothly so that's good as promised there's one more announcement per the title below Project Volvo V70R versus E46 M3 is back on. We don't have an E46 M3 ourselves. We sold that a long time ago. But we do have two or three people interested in still seeing if this thing tuned and modded can still beat the E46 M3 stock. So we're going to do that. It's back on. I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. I think it's going to happen hopefully later this year. Worst case scenario is next spring after this thing gets tuned, modded, and built. Um, the restoration is still going to happen, so don't worry. There still will be uh, exterior paint fixes. There will be interior fixes, a headliner, as well as a full-scale restoration of this car. Uh, to come so stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching if you liked the video as I said give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and If you like what we do uh, go follow us on drive tribe also follow us on all social media And if you want to email us it is contact at shifting lanes uh, To check out a couple more of our videos you can see around me. There will be a few um, Probably some press loan drive reviews as well as the rest of this series for the project of V70R and a subscribe button So that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Gregson and I will catch you next time. See ya